Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 66 of the So Not Scary series. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at why your mini sewing machine's needle is not moving. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by preparing the machine for opening up. So the usual things, I'll remove the plate cover, the bobbin, the battery compartment, okay? Um, and then start opening the machine. Okay, so the machine's now open, we can take a look at what's going on. Right, quite a few amongst you have written to me saying that even though the machine appears to be working fine, the purple hand wheel appears to be turning just fine as well. The only thing is, the needle's not going up and down. So that needle right there, it just doesn't go up and down. And how can we fix it? Earlier on, if you watched this video where I opened up the mini sewing machine in great detail, I showed you this bit where there are two mechanisms holding onto the shaft of the needle. Okay, so see this long silver stick? That's the shaft holding our needle, which is right there. Okay, and if I'm turning the hand wheel, you will see that the shaft goes up and down. Okay, now how is it doing that? There is a screw right there that silver flash that you will see. Let me turn it sideways. That screw is holding on to the shaft. Okay, if that screw is loose, it's not going to hold on to the shaft and the needle is not going to move up and down. So let me try to destroy the machine and show you how that might be. I'm going to loosen this screw deliberately, okay? Here we go. It's important to remember that this white thing and the screw is grabbing the shaft at a certain position, okay? It shouldn't be higher or lower than that position because otherwise the needle is either going to dip too deep into the bobbin casing or not deep enough, okay? So using a sharpie, I'm going to mark out where it's grabbing the shaft. Like, see, can you guys see that blue mark? That's where it's grabbing it. Now I'm going to loosen the screw. I know that's really, really loose now. You can see the screw has actually physically come away from the shaft significantly. And now look what happens when I turn the hand wheel. Do you see? The needle isn't moving. Look at the needle. Is it going up and down? No, it's not. And now if I show you the shaft, look at this. There is a hole right there. Do you see that hole? That is where this screw was positioned. And because I undid the screw, this plastic bit could not grab on. And so the needle is not moving up and down. So, look at that again, okay? So, if you think that your machine appears to be working perfectly, if the hand wheel's turning and all the gears are turning, but the needle's not moving up and down, open it up, but only if it's an older machine. If it's a brand new machine, just return it, okay, or exchange it. But if it's been a few weeks or a few months and you can no longer exchange or return it, and the only alternative is to bin it, this might be worth checking. Open it up and then check if this screw is loose, okay, and if it is, all you have to do is just realign the shaft in line with the screw and just screw it back together. Let's do that now. Now let's see if the needle will move up and down. There you go. See? It's moving again. So, if the needle shaft is disconnected from the up and down lever through that screw, all you have to do is realign and retighten the screw and your needle should start going up and down. I hope this was helpful guys. Don't be afraid to open up your machine if it's old and the only alternative is to bin it, okay? Because it might just rescue the machine before you throw it out. 
Um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do hit like and subscribe to the channel for more mini sewing machine related tips, tricks, and tutorials. I shall see you guys soon. Bye!